Imagine a submarine. Now imagine it with a cannon. Not just any cannon, mind you, but a monstrous 12-inch gun capable of sinking warships with a single shot. This, my friends, was the reality of the British M-class submarine. A bold experiment, a testament to ingenuity. Truly a marvel of early 20th century engineering. The M-class submarines were unlike anything the world had ever seen. They were a radical departure from traditional submarine design. Their massive gun, normally found on battleships, set them apart. They were a symbol of British ambition and a powerful reminder that the war at sea was changing rapidly. These underwater behemoths were designed for a singular purpose, to hunt and destroy enemy warships. Their size and firepower were meant to challenge the very notion of naval warfare. They were a bold gamble, a high-risk, high-reward venture in a desperate fight for control of the seas. World War I had brought unprecedented challenges. The German U-boat threat was strangling vital supply lines. The Royal Navy needed a new weapon, something to break the stalemate. The M-Class was their answer. The idea was simple, yet audacious. A submarine surfacing near an enemy fleet could unleash a devastating surprise attack. The element of surprise was crucial. Enemy ships accustomed to surface battles would be caught off guard. These submarines were designed to operate in the North Sea, a notoriously treacherous stretch of water. They needed to be large enough to accommodate the enormous gun and its recoil system. They also needed to be stable enough to fire accurately while surfaced. This ambitious plan, however, was not without its critics. Some argued that the submarines would be too slow and vulnerable on the surface. Others questioned the practicality of hitting a moving target from a rolling platform. Constructing these underwater behemoths was no mean feat. British shipyards, already stretched thin by the war effort, faced unprecedented challenges. The M-class submarines were significantly larger and more complex than any submarine built before. The massive 12-inch gun, salvaged from obsolete battleships, needed to be integrated into the submarine's hull. This required innovative engineering solutions and meticulous craftsmanship. The pressure hull, designed to withstand immense pressure at depth, had to be strong enough to also handle the enormous recoil forces of the gun. New welding techniques were developed to assemble the hull. Powerful diesel engines, a relatively new technology at the time, were installed to provide the necessary speed and range. The sheer scale of the project pushed the limits of existing shipbuilding technology. The submarine's size also posed logistical problems. They required specialised dry docks for construction and maintenance. Their deep draft limited their operational areas, making them unsuitable for some of the shallower waters of the North Sea. Despite the challenges, the M-Class submarines were marvels of engineering. They incorporated several advanced features that were ahead of their time. Their sophisticated periscope systems, for example, provided excellent visibility, crucial for both navigation and targeting. The submarines were equipped with powerful diesel engines that gave them a top speed of 16 knots on the surface, quite fast for submarines of that era. They also had a considerable range, allowing them to operate far from British shores. Their torpedo armament, often overshadowed by the massive gun, was also formidable. They carried four torpedo tubes capable of launching deadly torpedo attacks on enemy ships. This dual threat capability, combining the gun's long-range firepower with the torpedo's stealth, made them versatile weapons. The submarine's size also allowed for relatively comfortable crew accommodations, a significant factor in maintaining morale during long patrols. These features, combined with their innovative design, made the M-Class submarines truly groundbreaking vessels. Uh -oh. Operating these underwater giants was a risky business. Surfacing near an enemy fleet to fire the massive gun exposed the submarine to significant danger. They were vulnerable to counterattack from enemy destroyers and cruisers. The gun itself, while powerful, was slow to reload and fire. This limited the submarine's ability to engage multiple targets. A single, well-aimed shot from an enemy ship could spell disaster for the large, relatively slow-moving submarine. 
The North Sea's unpredictable weather conditions also posed significant challenges. Rough seas could make it difficult to keep the submarine stable while firing the gun, affecting accuracy. The harsh environment took its toll on the submarines, requiring frequent maintenance and repairs. Furthermore, the submarine's large size made them difficult to maneuver in tight spaces. They were also relatively easy to detect on the surface, especially during daylight hours. These factors limited their tactical flexibility and increased the risks involved in their deployment. At home, 